The LEGO community is absolutely buzzing with anticipation as the brand new BrickLink Designer Program launches its first official series of fan design sets. With 375 fantastic submissions to choose from, I've spent hours going through all of them to bring you my top five picks for medieval sets. All right, let's start with Medieval Street. It's a real showstopper. I mean, just look at those stunning roofs. The way they use contrasting colors like blue and orange alongside the stone and brick really gets your attention. And just look at the dark brown wooden bridge connecting the two buildings. It's just hidden behind all of that lush greenery. But the real magic is inside. The attention to detail is amazing and it really brings the set to life. It looks like there's nine rooms packed with features that make this one unique. It's safe to say that this set is the real deal and would be a perfect addition to any LEGO Medieval Town collection. The realism and attention to detail are just incredible. Right away, check out the roof design on this next set. The way they use these gray pieces is just brilliant. And let me tell you, this set is stunning from every angle. I'm really digging the color scheme of the building, the greenery, and the gorgeous stained glass above the windows. The workshop on the first floor has everything you need to work on weaponry. Meanwhile, the top floor features a cozy bedroom and a bath with a beautiful stained glass window. It is the perfect spot for the workshop worker to relax after a hard day's work. And the attention to detail in the bedroom is simply charming. The storage room also has additional stained glass windows that can be swapped out with the ones on the main building. And this gives you even more customization options. All in all, this workshop set is a real gem for any medieval LEGO fan. Next up is one of the more unique sets that I've come across. It's a construction site set which is not something you often see. It offers a sense of scale that is typical of large medieval buildings. One of the standout features is the huge pillar and the arched hallway under construction. It's fascinating to see all the mason's tools and the in-process sculpture which add to the realism. Additionally, there are many small details like decorative pillars and a stained glass window. I really love the sense of scale you get from every angle and the little model that they're working on to base the larger building on is just amazing. It's an excellent representation of what building a large structure would have been like during this era. Overall, this looks like a must have for anyone who loves medieval themed Lego sets and wants to experience the process of building a large in-progress structure during that time period. If video games have taught me anything, it's that your medieval town wouldn't be complete without a stable and an inn. Here we have a three floor set that's simply stunning. I'm especially impressed with the weathered look of the roof and how it blends in so perfectly with the foliage. And check out the wheelbarrow stowed away in the stable. But the real gem is on the inside. The tavern has a rustic charm with its bar area barrels, and even a sword on display. And upstairs, the cozy inn is perfect for a good night's rest. I love how the top floor bedroom can be accessed through these hinges. It's a smart design, and we get another peek at the gorgeous chimney as well. Overall, this set is a great addition to any medieval town collection, and it's full of little details that add to the overall charm and immersion. This next set is packed to the brim with delightful details that'll transport you straight back to the Middle Ages. The red roof adds a pop of color and there's a lot packed in here. The tavern on the inside looks quite charming and on the third floor, there's a storage room for all the tavern supplies. But wait, there's more. There's a bridge that leads to a tree hideaway, a great spot to hang out or hide out. This set is like a mix of something we get from the 90s with modern day techniques. The deadline to vote and show your love for your favorite BrickLink designer program sets is fast approaching on March 31st but we have you covered with some LEGO pirate sets in this program that you won't want to miss here. There's nothing like a solid LEGO pirate set, so we'll see you in the next one. Oh, and if you're still here, be sure to check out our Patreon for some extra LEGO goodness. Links are in the description and comments below.